So this is a quick video just uh, to show you quickly how to create your Play Blast and to compress it into video file that's smaller and you can upload to submit your assignment. So in this for both of you, you see you already have your animations and you have your camera cut properly keyframe. And here we will do the setup for the render setting. Make sure the image size, image size is set to the size that you want. You can render it smaller for now, 640-480 or full HD 720. You can see the preview of the frame if you turn on the resolution gate. So that's that will be exactly how your play, play blast is going to be. So you create your play blast, go to option box, make sure you turn off the ornaments, turn on the render off screen so it will render in the windows that's outside Maya. With the compressions, because this is student version, it doesn't give you quick time or other, or actually. It doesn't come with any useful encoding, so just select known. Quality is set to 100%, scale set to 1. And save movie file as the file that you want. And you hit play bus. And I already play bus my animations, and I got something that's around the size of 500 megabytes. So it's pretty big. And I can compress it using QuickTime Player or Blender. If you use QuickTime, you just open it up in QuickTime. And you go to File, Export, Move it to QuickTime Movie, Options. With a video, video setting, just Select setting like this, compression H264, quality best, frame rate is 24, is Maya default. We don't have sound, so it's okay, and then you just save, and then QuickTime will render it for you. And you will get a video that's much smaller, like around 500 kilobyte or something. So it's 100% reduction. Or you can also use Blender to export. So this is the new, the new movie. Let me refresh. So it's actually really small because this was this was rendered half of the size really really small. If you are using Blender, you can download the Blender Portable or install Blender if you can on the, on the computer you are using. Okay, so you open Blender. If you if you're using Blender, you can add multiple video, multiple sounds, and do a little bit of video editing. So when you open Blender, it looks something like this. You probably want to change the setting for your output right now. So for my video, the resolution is 1280720, which is HD quality. I will set it to 100%. My frame is 1 to 200. Frame rate 24. And we will output H264, which is preset for AVI with a correct compression. Double check. And turn on the sound anyway, MP3. We don't have sound, but you can turn it on. Now, from this default Blender 3D layout, we, we just want to switch to the video editing. So just select from here. And over here, 
we got the video editing layout. We don't need the animation graph editor for now. So you can hide it by clicking here and then dragging it to the left, like that. And now we're going to add the video. Add, movie, go to desktop, select that big AVI movie. And then there you go, you got the your video strip right there. And we need to adjust this video so it's on the place. You can right mouse button and drag. But you can also just type in start frame 1 length 200. So it's all good. You don't need to change anything. If you want to do splitting, you can do it. The shortcut is K, I believe. If you want to split your video, but we don't need that for now. We just reset our video, so we have our video back. You can add video audio if you want. Just point it to the WAV file or MP3, and we are ready to render. So we bring the preference back, user preference, oh, I mean properties, sorry, and just click animations and Blender will render it for you. And this will be FEI that is compressed and much smaller in size. Blender by default will save it in the C temp directory so if I go to C temporary directory check out this one open with mplay or quicktime so there you have it much smaller video and you're ready to upload it 